All right, so look, I lost 160 pounds about 10 years ago, and I made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> A lot of mistakes, a lot of mistakes that cause the weight loss process to be a lot harder than it had to be. So on this video, I'm going to give you guys the 15 most crucial mistakes that I made in hopes that you don't make the same mistakes. Now, the video after this, I'm going to give you guys the lessons that I learned from those mistakes, which in a way kind of makes the mistakes valuable, but you don't have to make the mistakes. But anyway, listen, if you want to show your appreciation for me sharing the gems that came from these heartbreaks that came from these really, really challenging moments, hit the like button right now let's try to get this video to at least 4,000 likes i appreciate you guys in advance if you haven't subscribed to the channel hit the subscribe button right now without further ado let's jump right into it so the first mistake i made was setting unrealistic goals in my head it was going to take me a year i was going to lose 150 pounds i was going to have a six pack i was going to be a superstar personal trainer that's not how it worked out it actually took three years and i think having these unrealistic goals kind of put a lot of pressure on me it added a lot of resistance it added a lot of stress to my weight loss journey because i had this timeline that i was trying to stick to to, and weight loss isn't this predictable incremental process and because i had this vision like yo i gotta get this done in a year when it wasn't happening in a year it would stress me out it would it would literally make me feel like i was failing so in the next video i'm going to tell you what that feeling inspired me to do but anyway let's go to the next mistake so the second mistake that i made is that i would constantly skip meals or i would under eat a lot of us we believe that the, the formula for weight loss is eat less exercise more and in a way that kind of is the formula right but if you starve yourself your body's gonna shut down right so so you want to make sure that your calorie deficit isn't too aggressive i meet people who are 300 pounds and they're telling me that they're eating 1500 calories a day like no bro the key to weight loss and i'll make a video about this the key to successful sustainable weight loss you want to eat as many calories as you possibly can while in the weight loss process but i'll save the explanation of that for another video the third mistake i made was not tracking my food intake i would try to guesstimate how many calories i was consuming for long-term sustainable transformation i'm just not a fan of of trying to guess like you have to count your calories you have to know exactly what you're putting into your body because what gets measured gets managed and if you don't know what you're eating then you don't know how to make adjustments when you hit these quote-unquote plateaus or when you hit any sort of sticking point so make sure you're tracking your calories accurately there are tons of really really good tracking apps i like lose it my fitness pal or i use the food tracking feature in the lumen app all right the fourth mistake that i made in the beginning is that all i did was cardio i struggled with weight loss for 10 years and most of those 10 years i wasn't lifting weights at all i would do hours and hours of cardio for two reasons it was simple it was something that i didn't feel intimidated i didn't know how to lift weights so instead of trying to learn i just did cardio for one it made my appetite out of control and for two, it didn't help my metabolism, right? It, it just wasn't the most effective way to lose weight. So that's all you have for right now. But if you really want to shape your body and you want to have a strong body and you want to have a healthy metabolism, some sort of resistance training is going to be necessary in that journey. The fifth big mistake I made was not getting enough sleep. Our bodies recover during sleep. Your body recharges during sleep. This is when fat loss happens. You, it's There's so many hormonal and physiological reasons why you need to get sleep. So make sure that you're getting at least at least six and a half hours but ideally seven or eight hours of sleep the sixth huge mistake that i made was being super restrictive with my diet i would go months at a time without quote unquote cheat meals i would go months at a time without treating myself to dessert and what that caused is this cycle of restriction and binge restriction and binge and because of that i gained back 70 pounds i gained back 50 pounds several times so it's important to have balance in your diet and you're able to do that when you track your macros and developing calorie awareness so take the time to track your calories and track your macros that way you can still have ice cream or cookies or maybe a little piece of fried chicken which will help you sustain and be consistent all right the seventh big mistake that i made was i let that inner voice in my head discourage me almost every single time anytime i made a mistake here comes the guilt here comes the shame here comes that negative voice in my head trying to tell me that i'm a piece of shit oh you always fail you can never keep a promise to yourself all of this madness would go on in my head and i listened to it now listen this is a part of it what i'm asking you to do is to recognize it right you can hear the voice in your head you can recognize the thoughts but just know you don't have to let that voice control your behavior you don't have to let that voice talk you out of going to the gym the next day when you quote unquote messed up the night before you don't have to do it 
just forgive yourself be kind to yourself understand that that negative voice is going to be present it's going to try to kick your ass it's going to try to stop you from doing things that make you uncomfortable but that's where all the growth is so that was a huge mistake letting that negative voice control me no more that's dead the eighth mistake that i made was doing exercises and eating foods that i did not enjoy especially in the beginning you want to enjoy your diet you don't have to eat a boring bland diet you don't have to eat dry ass chicken breasts and broccoli and brown rice you want to season your food good you want to make sure that you are looking forward to your meals and the same thing with exercise if you don't like weight training if you don't like burpees if you don't like cardio then don't do it at the end of the day it's about activity you want to just move your body so if you like playing basketball play basketball if you like going for walks just go for walks find ways to enjoy your exercise because that's going to help you be consistent the ninth mistake was dating i shouldn't have been dating i was single dating was a huge distraction i'm going to make an entirely separate video about that topic though mistake number 11 was allowing myself to go into weekend mode on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I would pretty much reverse all of the progress that I made during the week. And it was this perpetual cycle. So whatever you need to do to stop yourself from reversing all the progress during the weekends, do that. So what I did was I made the weekends a quote unquote, no cheat zone. I would never skip a workout on the weekends. I would never take a rest day on the weekends. And I would never give myself a quote unquote, cheat meal on the weekends because I realized if I did that on the weekends, I would overdo it, right? So my cheat meal and my rest days would be during the week mistake number 12 i didn't walk i never thought that walking was actually exercise walking is literally my go-to exercise for weight management right now i think walking is one of the most underrated weight loss tools there is so walk mistake number 13 i would constantly compare myself to people i remember walking in the gym and i would see the fit dudes in the corner and think man i would give my right arm to look like these dudes i would feel self-conscious because I would, I would look at what everyone else was doing and I would compare what they were doing to what I was able to do and it would discourage me. Big mistake is comparing yourself. And this leads me to the next mistake, ego lifting. That was a huge mistake. Every single injury that I suffered was because my ego was involved in the moment, was involved in the lift. I wanted to impress somebody or I wanted to make sure I'm lifting as much as the person next to me. I was trying to add heavy weight prematurely before I mastered the form. Ego lifting is a formula for disaster. It's a formula for injury. So don't do it. Mistake number 15 is doing it alone. I, I didn't have a coach for most of my weight loss journey. And because I didn't have the structure, I didn't have the accountability, the support, I made tons of mistakes, right? So don't do it by yourself. Get a workout partner if you can't afford to hire a coach. I'm currently taking on online coaching clients, so go to brickstraining.com and schedule a discovery call. Let's figure out if we can work well together, but please do not try to do it by yourself. Here's a bonus mistake that I made. I would watch videos like this all the time and I would never take action on the things that I was learning. That was a huge mistake. Listen, I'm giving you guys some gems here. Even if it's just a few of them, take these mistakes and make sure you don't repeat them. Honor my process, honor my struggle, honor my pain, honor my the time that I'm putting into this content by learning from my mistakes. Squad, again, hit the thumbs up button. I appreciate all the love and support. Shout out to the Brick Squad. And remember, the body that you want is owned by a higher version of yourself. So evolve. Peace.